Hello yogis, how are you today? Today we're filming in uh, Costa Rey, in uh, Sardegna. It's a beautiful beach, it's a cloudy day, which is perfect for the video, for some yoga, since it's not too hot. Otherwise, it's kind of challenging to do yoga in July in Sardegna with the heat. But today it's perfect. You have the sound of the ocean behind me. So I hope the location helps you uh, find this class uh, amazing, powerful, full of energy, energy of the ocean, energy from the poses that we will be doing. And it's going to be um, in a pretty decent pace. So it's going to be pretty challenging, pretty strong. So it's good if you're looking for some challenge, some energy and some strength. So let's start right away by sitting down with your knees on the floor or on your mat. You can have either your knees down or you can sit in a meditation pose. So let's stay in Balasana for either Balasana if you prefer or you can just sit. So just choose a comfortable position that you like to make it a good start. Close your eyes in every position you're in. So it can be child's pose, it can be sitting down. If you're sitting down, your shoulders are relaxed, your back is long, your eyes are closed. Inhale and exhale. Through your nose. Try to count your inhalation. Make it at least three or four breaths, counts. And exhale, same thing. So inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. So we start with some pranayama. By extending the inhalation and exhalation. more breaths for an ohm sound. Actually, let's do three ohm sounds. Inhale deeply. Open your arms, palms together. Exhale, palms to your chest. Think about an intention for the class of today, something that you wish for yourself or for someone you love. And keep this intention in your heart throughout the class. Slowly open your eyes. We just do some pranayama and start right away. Pranayama of today is going to be the fire breath, so with your tummy. So you exhale 
and by exhaling you also move your tummy inhalation comes spontaneously so let's do a five a few inhale now and let's pump normally one more inhalation deep deep exhale inhale left arm up exhale we bend towards the right inhale come up exhale we exchange side You don't see my face, but please bend. Inhale, come up. Exhale, we make a twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Namaste. Inhale, open your arms. Open your chest, look up. Exhale, palms to your left side. Left ear towards the left shoulder. We push your hands towards, in my case, towards the mountain. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale on the other side. So elbow behind and you push with your hands towards the front. Right here, right shoulder. Stay here. Inhale, open. Exhale, release. We go on four points. So now we do an inhalation. Look up. Exhale. Run your back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now your back is parallel to the to the sand or to the mat. Right arm forward, left leg back. Look down towards your mat. Open your arm to the side. Open your leg to the side. Slowly come back, you bend the left knee and you try to grab your foot and you push it up towards the sky. You can also grab your ankle. Look down with your head. Inhale, extend, exhale, change. So right leg back, left arm front. Look down, your back is long, parallel to the mat. Breathe. Slowly open your left arm and open your right leg. Stay. Inhale. We go back. We bend the right knee and we try to grab the ankle or the foot. Inhale. Extend. Exhale, we sit on our knees by opening a little bit the knees. And we're going to try to pose. This is a pose that you can use anytime during the class. Very slowly come up. Tuck your toes under and come into down dog. So you push your heels towards the sand. down dog a few more breaths you can walk your dog make 
take a few steps towards your hands. Stay here in Uttanasana. Your knees can be slightly bent. Hands over your elbows. You can sway. And very slowly come back up, one vertebra at a time. Inhale, left arm up, exhale towards the right. Inhale, come up, exchange, right arm up, we go towards the left. Inhale, come up, exhale, relax. So we start with Surya Namaskar A, so sun salutation. Inhale, open your arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Uttita, look up. Exhale, Chataranga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Two more breaths. Inhale, walk or jump forward and look up. Exhale, Uttanasana, head towards your knee. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. forward, exhale, inhale all the way up, Tadasana, exhale, one more like this, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Again, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. This time is we stay in plank. Stay in plank for five, four, three, two, one. Now we put our elbows over the sand, over the mat, and stay here. We're gonna stay here for a minute, so get ready for that. It's too t if, it, if it's too tough, you can go down with your knees and come back up. Not, not just stay. Breaths. We're almost there. Very good. We made it. One minute. Very slowly come back now. And with your hands, you grab your ankles. You grab your ankles and come up. Try to come up with your legs, with your chest, open your shoulders. Very slowly try to move towards the right side. Oh, ah. very good. If you made it, do not try again. And slowly we go back to the center, go to the left side. Very good. Okay, this was easier. Good. 
to the center and we're going to plank and Adamuka. Inhale, jump or walk forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Very good. One last one like this, and then we go to Mirapadra, well, to Surya Namaskar B. Inhale. Exhale. In. X. We go to plank. X. Plank. Chaturanga. Few more. Inhale. Exhale. We stay in Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva. Exhale, Adumukha. We're going to plank and we're going to side plank towards the right. Plank, side plank, plank on the left side. Plank, Adho Mukha. Inhale, walk forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana. Some seagrass all over sand. On the sand, it's fun, but you have some challenges of balance, sand going all over, but it's fun. So, Uktasana. Stay. We bend your knees, bend, 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 bend. We do a twist on the right. We can open the arms. We can find a, a, a balance by going down and balance on the right side. You can try to open your legs. Come back. We go back to Uktasana. Exhale. We do a twist on the other side. Open. Balance on your arms. Very quick. On the side it's difficult. Come back. Uktasana. Uttanasana. Utita. Chaturanga. Urdhva. Adumukha. Right foot forward. We have a one. We stay. to Virabhadrasana 2. Open the right knee. You should be able to see your big toe of the right foot. Open your warrior. Slowly we open on the other side. Stay in side lunge. In this case, you can have the right arm over the leg, or you can try to grab your hands underneath the right leg and try to look up towards the sky. Open the left shoulder. Let's find some balance here. So we go forward with the left foot to find the balance on the right leg. We're going to do birds of paradise. So get excited for that. So we move forward. We slowly come up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Find your balance. If you can, you extend the right leg. straighter than mine. Slowly come back to extend your right leg. Go. We 
we go to Vira Madrasana 2 and then extend both legs and we move into Tita Trikonasana Triangle If you have good balance, if your neck doesn't hurt look up towards the left hand Very slowly you move your hands over the sand. Your hand can be close to your right foot. Both legs are extended, your hips are parallel to the mat, or they can be in reverse namaste behind your back. From here, Pari Brita Trikonasana. So the triangle if you can you look up towards the right hand from here we're going to Ardha Chandrasana by opening the left hip and looking up towards the left hand whoops falling down going back up that's the fun of being on the sand. If the balance is not perfect, you just look down towards the mat. From here, we grab the foot and open the shoulder, open the chest with a slight back bend. Very slowly release and we twist once again. Paridrita Ardha Chandrasana. very slowly we grab the right foot and we're going to split standing split on the right foot chataranga exhaling urdhva adomukha on the left side so right foot forward right foot down Mira Padrasana one Mira Padrasana two Open your warrior. Stand inside angle. In this case, you can also place your right hand here and the left arm can stay down. Try to find contact between the left knee and the left shoulder. If you can, grab your hand, open the right shoulder, look up. If you want to move forward, bird of paradise, so you find balance on the right leg and come up. Slowly come back down, extended side angle, bound side angle, to extended side angle, Mira Bedrasana 2, and we're going to Tita Trikonasana. Hands on the mat, right foot to slightly forward hips parallel to the mat hands on the mat or in reverse namaste behind your back
Parivrita Trikonasana, right hand on the outside of the left foot. Open. If you can, look up. Ardha Chandrasana. Parivrita Ardha Chandrasana. Chaturanga Urdhva Adamukha Very good Right Open your right leg Open your right hip Bend your right hip Let's flip now We go back up Right foot forward. We come up in press and lunge. Hands toward your chest. We add a twist. Oops. We go back up in press and lunge. Exhale, Adomuka. We change legs, so we open the left leg. We open the left hip. Slowly flip it. Inhale, open the left leg. Exhale, press and lunge. Exhale, hands to your chest. We add a twist. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Adumuka. Inhale, jump forward. We stay in this pose just to open the hips. And we go to find balance over into crow pose over your hands, over your arms. And very slowly, Uttanasana. We open the feet, keep distance. We grab the big toe, inhale, look up. Exhale, relax. Inhale, look up. The whole hand underneath. Inhale, we open the chest, exhale, relax. The feet should arrive to the wrist. Inhale. Come all the way up. Exhale. Feet together. Inhale, arms up. Interlace the palms. We go toward the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. We do some balance now by standing here. So we stand and we do some balance poses. We start with the right leg. So index finger and middle finger grab the big toe of the right foot. And you try to extend the leg forward. If too challenging, you can just grab your knee. Very slowly open. Once again, if you're grabbing your knee, you grab your knee also here. Come back, we do a twist. So left hand grabs the outside of the right foot and we open. Come back, extend the right leg long. Strong, up, up, up. Inhale, open your arms up. Exhale, Virabhadrasana, through 
Street. We're going to plane and from here we go directly into Dancer's Cove. Just two more, we do the eagle, so right leg over the left, right arm under, eagle, elbows towards the sky. And last but not least, we're going to tree, but let's do a challenging tree first. So we're going to find, place our foot, the left leg like this so it's just half lotus if you can just stay here if you want to move forward we grab the big foot with the right leg and then we go all the way down slowly 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 oh, we're down and we find balance by sitting over the left heel and trying to come up with our hands challenging i know just try for one second whoops two three four five come up inhale exhale here and now yes we go into the traditional tree just to make it more challenging i said it would be a hard and challenging a strong class advanced poses traditional trip 
knees and we do a back bend here so with our hands we go over the heels and look down behind and very slowly come up we sit on our heels legs together One more. And very slowly sit. This is a great chest opener and also shoulder opener. So you open your chest, you open your chakra, you open your heart very strongly. So just feel your body after this pose. Feel the energy. Feel your feelings. Feel your soul. Try to be here. Try to be on your breath. Very slowly we sit. We extend one leg forward, we bend the other one. Inhale, arms up, exhale, we bend. Inhale, look up, and we change leg. Inhale, arms up, exhale, extend. legs together. Pashimo Tanasana, inhale, arms up. Exhale forward, we grab what we can grab. It can be the leg, it can be the feet, it can be your feet, it can be the big toes, and exhale down. Asana. So legs up. Stay, stay, 
stay, a few more breaths, come on. Go down, down, down. Lower your, shamas your Namasana, come back up. And release, very good. So what we're going to do next, is going to be some inversions. So we're going to start with handstand. Handstand, if you have a wall, use a wall, it's much easier. If you fall down, you just fall down, you can go into wheels, so do not worry about it. Woo! The water is arriving here, sorry. The ocean decided to come and say hi. Hi ocean, hello. So we have to move a little bit. Well, yes, it's better if we move a little bit. Sorry about this. I wasn't expecting the ocean to come say hi. Hello, just a little bit of a break. Just drink some water and we're back. So what I was saying is <laughs> we're going to do the inversion. So let's start with handstand. So hands over, well, over your mat. If you have a wall, use a wall. And let's go up with the right leg first. more time you don't have to come up with both legs just a child let's change leg left leg up just some kicks it's always you always have a favorite leg right And very slowly come back down we're going to do now I don't know if this was successful <laughs> but it's fun we're going to place our arms and go up with the legs once again if you can or want to for me it's really tough because I don't have any with the sand it's really challenging but I try so come up same thing one leg first The other one, I usually stay up, but here I came. <laughs> well, I had fun by doing it. If you're on a nice ground, you should stay up. If you can do it, just stay there. A few more breaths, very good. And now let's do headstand. I have too many things with me. So for headstand, you just place on the sand, it's gonna be fun! Hope you enjoy it! Oh. If you're up, stay up with me! go into child's pose well you're probably not full of sand like me but let's do child's pose now from here we're going to do the final poses that are shorter sand so you sit over the shoulder and you go up with your legs so I cannot look at you so just go up but you can look at me now but what you're going to do is going up with your shoulders and you're going to shoulder stand so let's try it 
to do it this i hope i can do it on the sand oh the sand is going all over my face but i'm up in shorter stand very slowly going to Kalasana and from here we go back up into short stand and very slowly go back down very slowly into bridge pose so from shorter stand you just press your legs down and you stay into bridge from bridge you relax your back on the mat and we go up into wheel are you ready for wheel yes you are let's all come up into wheel yes Ooh. this is fun From wheel, we go back up into shoulder stand. Get ready for that. So very slowly. And very slowly, go back into Halasana. And, oh, I have too much sand on my face. And one vertebra at a time, you go back down. Yes, I'm full of sand, but it was lots of fun. I will have to jump into the ocean afterwards to take out all this sand. From here, find a comfortable position. We're going to do some twists here. So left leg over, we do a twist towards the left. on the other side so change the legs and we twist towards the right yeah some kids playing close by very slowly come back sit down we did lots of poses today <laughs> so just lie down into Shavasana inhale deeply exhale inhale now hold the breath at the top as long as you can and exhale through your mouth now breathe normally just stay in shavasana by listening to this amazing sound of the ocean don't look at me full of sand just close your eyes and listen to the sound of the ocean Relax your legs, relax your feet, relax your tummy, relax your arms, relax your hands. They just want to play close by, sorry about the background noise, I cannot help you. I hope you concentrate on the waves more than on people playing, they're having fun. It's holiday time, so it's normal, kids are having fun. Just relax your arms, your hands, relax your face, relax your eyes, relax your cheeks, relax your lips. Relax all your body. Listen to the sounds inside your room where you're at now. Just listen them to them. Observe them and let them go. Observe the sounds outside your room. Also the sounds you have here in the class, the waves. Observe them and let them go. Just be an observer of the sounds, of the sensations the heat of your body, of the temperature of the room, 
and let everything go on the floor. Stay here a few more breaths. Relaxing all your body. Slowly try to move, uh, start by moving your fingers, your toes, by breathing normally, inhale deeply, exhale, extend your arms up like you just walk out, extend out your body, hug your knees to the chest and move towards the right side. Stay here a few more breaths, keeping your eyes closed by being here in the moment. by thanking yourself for giving yourself one hour for yourself. One hour of strength, flexibility, breath, pranayama, meditation, well-being for your body, your soul, and your mind, and your heart. Very slowly, when you're ready, sit down. Keep your eyes closed. Listen to your breath. Let's stay here in meditation for a few more seconds. just go back to your breath at least during yoga try to be in the moment to be here and now and this can help you during the day when you have some challenges to go back to the present moment
Now we move your hands towards the third eye. Inhale deeply. Exhale here. May your thoughts always be wonderful, full of energy and positive and optimistic. Move your hands towards your lips. May your lips always speak the truth. Inhale the ear and exhale. Move your hands towards your heart. Inhale here. Exhale. May your heart always be full of love and also peace. enjoyed this class if you did please give some comments below and i hope to see you soon and i hope you also enjoyed the setting the location and uh, the challenge and uh, give me some comments if you want something personalized please let me know from my heart